Sometimes I tough guy. While other times, I a chicken. What is it, trusted sidekick? Ma -ma 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 -ma. <laughs> that only happened once, okay? Some people think that creating a dog is cruel and inhumane. While confining a dog in a small space for long periods of time can be harmful for any dog, an adequately sized crate can provide a place of comfort and safety for dogs. I guess it all depends on why and how exactly a dog crate is used. Responsible dog parents understand that dogs need a safe place to call their home, just like us humans. Part of making our dogs feel at home with us is providing them their own space inside our homes, where they can relax and sleep comfortably, again, just like us humans. <laughs> and if you think about it, we all have our own special places in our homes. Like, we have our bedrooms for extra privacy. Babies, for example, have their cribs to sleep in, and we use their cribs to keep them from roaming around in our homes when they're not supervised, protecting them from potential trouble and places where they can get hurt. So a crib is a definite must-have at home. Same thing for dogs. A crate is a special place for them inside our homes, and we can use their crate to communicate safe boundaries at home or outside protecting them from getting to places they're not supposed to, where they could potentially get hurt. This is especially important at times when we cannot supervise our dogs, like when we're away from home. A crate can be a dog's own special, private place in our home. That's why when we brought Cooper home, we decided to get him his own crate and crate train him ASAP. You can find Cooper's crate and other dog-centric products in our Amazon store. To get there, check out the link in the description below. We found that using a crate for appropriate periods of time was helpful with Cooper's health and social development, including potty training, preventing destructive behaviors, and teaching Cooper to settle and relax. Cooper initially wasn't a big fan of crating. He didn't understand why he was inside and why we weren't in there with him. But through positive reinforcement, he realized that his crate is his own space and that it wasn't such a bad place after all. Don't get me wrong though, 
Cooper has the freedom and full access to roam anywhere when we're at home with him. But when we're not at home and he's unsupervised, we leave him in the crate where he is safest, and he takes the opportunity to catch up on his sleep. We know other dog parents who do not use a crate when they leave their house, and their dog got to places they weren't supposed to and ate something harmful requiring emergency medical attention. That's why when you cannot supervise your dog, like when you're not at home, it's important to have a crate where your dog can feel safe and be comfortable. Cooper knows that the crate is his own safe and private place. Sometimes even where we're home, he prefers to be in there even when we leave the crate door open. There are various types of crates. When Cooper was a tiny puppy, we had a small travel crate that we used to bring him to the vet, the dog park, or other places. We also have this wire crate at home that was his main crate. We used this a lot for crate training when he was younger. As you can see here, Cooper's telling us that he's had enough time in his crate, so we let him out. There's also this dog pen, which is not really a crate, but it serves a similar purpose. It allows for setting boundaries anywhere in your home or outside. You have more flexibility in shaping the size of the boundary with a pen so that it conforms to any room in your home or outside. When you're not using it, you can simply fold it and put it away, and it takes less space than a crate when you want to put it away. This crate in particular is a large travel crate that we now currently use every day. Cooper likes this one much better than the wire crate because it's more enclosed. Comfy. Oops, I forgot someone. Dogs and their ancestor wolves have a natural instinct to hang inside dens or caves. So having a sturdy, dark crate like this is actually very comfortable for Cooper. Okay, can you and Piggy get out so I can show your crate? Don't forget Piggy! Thank you! We got this crate some time ago because we were traveling by air to another state and we needed to bring Cooper with us. If you want to know how we flew with Cooper on an airplane or just watch his travel adventures, make sure to check out the links in the description below. This crate is the right type, size, and quality for air travel according to the policy of the airline that we used, so that's why we bought it. We just had to change the screws because they originally came with plastic screws and they had to be metal for air travel so it's more secure. And as you can see, this crate is very light. I won't have to worry about breaking my back picking it up without Cooper in it. And to make it even more comfortable, we placed this light cushion inside. You gotta have a cushy for the tushy, right Koopy?
This crate is so versatile. It's also a safe haven for Cooper when his mortal enemy is out. This crate turned out to be a worthy investment for us. Cooper really loves it. You can find Cooper's crates, the exercise pen you've seen in this video, and other dog-centric products in our Amazon store. To get there, check out the link in the description below. If you know someone who has a dog, tell them we said hi, and let them know about our Amazon store. They might find something useful there to get for their own dog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Let's